Which one of these motherfuckers is live? Yeah! You enjoy the rest of these bitches tonight? Woo! Now we can start the fucking show. That's right, it's my time. Helen A. Handbasket is in this bitch. You can call me Helen, you can call me Handbasket, you can call me H2. Oh, well, I guess I am a tall drink of water, y'all, so. It's just the way it's gonna be. I see we have some celebrities out in the crowd tonight. Sabrina came from her uh, adventures. How you doing? Hail Satan. Lizzo popped out for a little while. How you doing? How you feeling, baby? Don't answer that. Sid Haig came out the fucking grave to join us tonight. That's cool. We got a fucking zombie in the house tonight. That doesn't happen every day. You guys have been an awesome crowd tonight. Give it up for yourselves. Yeah, that's enough. The rest of that shit's for me. Okay? Now listen, I know it ain't Christmas time anymore, y'all, but I'm feeling like kind of a gift myself, so since I got the biggest chestnuts, I'm fitting to roast a few motherfuckers over this fire, okay? That's right. True it. Where you at, baby? I don't know how I was supposed to follow that dance number. But I am sure this was your first time in drag. Has to be. Uh, I, I hear that you are a black belt in martial arts, sweetheart. But trust me, there ain't no kind of classes that can prepare you for the ass whipping you taking on this stage tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Olivia, for a second there, I actually thought you was a dude. But then I saw you come up here dressed as a man. I was like, I guess not. Ryan, you put on a good show up here, baby. I love rated R comedy. But if you've ever seen Ryan, you always know he's always laughing at his own jokes. I'm like, why are you always laughing up there? I mean, I guess that's the point of comedy, but you're supposed to get other people to do it. Brogan, I'm just trying to fuck, what's up? Andrew was fabulous. Came up here prancing around like he was Miss Noxima Jackson. Too bad he was looking more like Clarisil Jones. Just saying. My friend Wiley is in the crowd tonight. Anybody know Wiley? You ever seen him? Yeah. He didn't want to do drag because that motherfucker's carrying around a goddamn nine pound hammer in them drawers. I've seen that shit before. Trust me. Like, it made me feel like I was Troy from the Swamp People just going, Oh, Lord, look at her. That's a tree shaker. Look at her. <laughs> Ain't a pair of bloomers in this world that could cover up that dick. I see it. Yes. Now, I left my children at home so I could do this show, you guys. And I was, I was leaving the house, they were like, oh my God, Dad, you're leaving the house looking like that? Why don't you try this little sparkly fanny pack? That's really gonna put that outfit together, it's so cute. That's right, I have three boys. Potency, bitches. That's right, that's what I got. Yeah, I got kids. It's weird being a father, though, because you have to teach him all those manly things, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I have this one, and he's, he's in puberty. He's 14, and he's getting older, and, like, I don't know how to have a little talk with him because, obviously, I did not have a father to have that talk with me. So, I don't know what's going to happen. Like, you know what I mean? Do I, do I sit him down and have a talk with him about it? Because, like, I have really bad anxiety, and that's going to be at least a two-blunt talk. And... <laughs> And I can't smoke by myself, so I'm gonna be like, here, you've got fuck that I gotta have two talks. <laughs> so what do I do? Do I just wait for a sign or something? Is it gonna be laundry day and I'm gonna go in there to change the sheets and like I go to pull that fitted off of his mattress? It's like pulling the top piece off of a stack of plywood. <laughs> I go to crumple it up, put it in a basket, all of a sudden I'm covered in white flakes like I just binged a dozen Krispy Kremes or something, you know? Like a 
or met a whole bunch of bikers behind a fucking, you know, dumpster at a day's in. It could happen. Um, also, I'm a member of the Itty Bitty Titty Committee. Give it up for Little Boob Girls. That's right. Girls with little boobs need love too. Because we have the biggest dicks. So, with that being said, I just want to say something. Sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, fuck y'all. Vote for me. All right, thanks a lot, guys. My name's Helen A. Handbasket. Y'all! Helen A. Handbasket, ladies and gentlemen, give a huge round of applause. Now she will go change into a bathing suit, curtsy before everybody.